Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for a very relaxing, calming, stress-free video. I get asked all the time to do my nighttime routine and I also get asked all the time what my skincare routine is. So I figured I would combine my like coziest, happiest nighttime routine along with my PM skin time routine, what it normally is. I play around with things a lot and make it into one big happy video for y'all. So without further ado, this is what I do on the nights that I just want to be as relaxed and stress-free as possible. First and foremost, obviously if I'm gonna get comfortable, I have to put on my most comfortable clothes possible. <laughs> I recently got these shorts from Lou and Gray and I have loved them. They're so soft and I appreciate that they're a little bit longer than most shorts, which makes it even more comfortable to me. And then obviously a little bit of Janice to the label, have to self plug. I live in my Janice to the label every day, every night. It's just part of my life. <laughs> then I love to play relaxing music. I'm a very like musically inclined person. I can't stand silence. I have to have music playing as much as possible all the time. And so I have different playlists for different things, but I have like a very calming playlist that I normally switch up every couple of weeks of just songs that I like that make me feel happy and stress-free. And I play that. Then most nights I try to stretch. This is something I do try to do every single day before bed if I can help it. So I have this routine actually left over from high school. I went to a performing arts high school and one of the classes was dance and normally on Fridays we would just have a complete stretch class and so I've kind of like memorized that routine from high school and that's still what I do every night before bed. So I made that into a video to hopefully help other people if you're ever interested in my stretch routine. I'll link it down below if you haven't yet seen it. And then a lot of times lately like an hour or two before bed I've loved to just kind of have a nighttime beverage almost like a treat almost like my equivalent of dessert. And there's a few that I've loved lately, but one that I wanna highlight that I've really loved is Gold. Gold is one of the brands that I recently discovered when I was trying to support more black owned businesses. And they have quite a few drinks. And the thing I'm showing you here is a sampler pack, but at nighttime, I love the original turmeric, which is essentially like a turmeric ginger pepper latte mix. And what I do is I just use my regular Oatly unsweetened and I heat that for two minutes in the microwave and I add in in this turmeric anti-inflammatory mix. And I use my oh so loved milk frother to blend it together and make it a little bit frothy. I think that's my top two kitchen appliances is my tovala and my milk frother. I think I use them both like multiple times a day. <laughs> so beverage in hand, love that drink. It's like warming to your soul. It almost has like a little bit of like pepperiness to it. And I think it's perfect unsweetened. Then I know a lot of people in their nighttime routines journal. And I am gonna be honest here. I am not a journaler at all. I wish I was. I wish I was that cool and that that introspective and able to do that, but I'm just, that's not me. But one thing I do love to do almost every single night in order to kind of like declutter my brain and become so much less stressed is to create to-do lists, usually for a whole week in advance. I love to just take all the tasks that I know are coming up that I need to do and divide it amongst the next six, seven days, because otherwise I will feel like I need to do it all tomorrow. And in reality, I don't need to do it all tomorrow. I need to do it all by the end of the week. So writing down everything I need to do and then breaking it up into days really helps me feel less stressed before going to bed because I don't feel like I need to wake up the next morning and do six days of work. I'll be like, okay, I know exactly when I wake up in the morning that I need to do these three things to stay on track on top of my work and my stress melts away immediately. <laughs> I love this journal too. It's from appointed, love them. And then I also like to look at my calendar month at a glance. This is my golden coil journal. I love golden coil too. And I just have all of my content that I need to stay on top of planned out normally for the whole next month. And I like to go through and see which things I've already filmed, which things I've edited, what I've uploaded, what I've rewatched back to make sure it's good to go and just kind of get a check in on the whole month. So I know that my weekly plan is in alignment with my monthly plan. At this point we're getting close to bedtime. So it's about time for my PM skincare routine. Now this does change up pretty frequently. I get sent a lot of products. I love to play around with different products. I'll change it up based on how my skin's feeling, if it's feeling drier or if it's breaking out or whatever it might be. But I pretty much always stick to my Curology cleanser prescription and moisturizer. And then I play around with a ton of different things on top of that. But the things I picked for tonight's skincare routine is pretty frequently the gist of what I do. So I start off cleansing my skin 
obviously super important just with my Curology cleanser. It's just super basic. So I feel like it pairs well with anything. Then I used my Fresh, the Black Tea Kombucha Facial Essence. I've loved this for a couple of years and it's almost gone and it's way too pricey. So I'm sad that it's almost gone because I probably won't let myself rebuy this, but I just apply it with my fingers. Then I'll go ahead and do my prescription, which this is from Curology. They added multiple different things in there. So I have some anti-aging and some things to help prevent acne. The next thing is new. I've had this brand for a while, but Earth Harbor, they have a Marina Ampole, which I can't say Ampole whole correctly. It's just a great moisturizing, lightweight, almost like facial oil. My skin was feeling a little bit dry, so I was like, let's go above and beyond, hydrate that skin. And then I finished up with the Curology moisturizer. But then I had a couple things for my eyes. Is it Earth Harbor or Blue Harbor? Now I gotta look it up. But the same brand as that Ampoule, I've been using their eye cream for quite a while. So I went ahead and did that around my eyes. And then every night before bed, I use the Grande Lash MD Eyelash Serum. Serum. It's been a game changer for my eyelashes. I went from having no eyelashes to having a little bit of eyelashes. <laughs> and then I was ready to go. My skin was feeling hydrated and clean, ready for bed. So next is the part of my nighttime routine that I am always most excited about because it's where I use my Vitruvi essential oils. This video is sponsored by Vitruvi, which was like one of my lifetime dreams. If y'all saw me unbox this, <laughs> probably a couple months ago now. I was so excited, I almost cried. Like, I love this brand. This is the definition of class and sophistication in a home to me. But they have just recently released a whole line of like, PM sleep wind down oils. A couple that I have are sleep, dusk and quiet and I love them all for in my bedroom before bed to just wind down. I actually did an experiment the other day where I diffused one of them and Brooke has really, he has a lot of trouble falling asleep but he fell asleep immediately like like a couple hours before he normally goes to bed. I think that this is a great alternative to a lot of the unnatural scented things that people use frequently. Obviously essential oils are derived from nature so there's no like synthetic fragrances or anything that you don't want to be consuming, inhaling, and the design is so beautiful. They're so beautiful. It has this like stone terracotta feel to the diffuser, and then even just the oils are stunningly minimalistic. They also run for eight hours and then have an automatic off switch, so you don't have to forget about accidentally leaving it on, which if you're comparing this to a candle, there's no off switch for a candle. So this is a much like safer alternative. I feel like they just help me fall asleep and ease stress and is just so relaxing. They're 100% pure plant-based products, which is also amazing. I do wanna say, if you have pets and if you're diffusing the oils in the same room as your pet, talk to your vet before you do it. Some oils are safe, some are not. I don't wanna give uh, medical advice on the internet saying as I am not a vet, but I did talk to my vet, so talk to yours too, especially if you're diffusing it in the same room as your animal. But I have loved this. I have just, it's been a game changer. It makes me feel so happy and classy. <laughs> Next, I have started going to bed before Brooke which part of me is a little bit sad because I like that time with him, but also it's good because I get a little bit of time to like read and unwind and really just focus on going to sleep as calmly as possible. One thing that I've been trying to read every single night is my devotional. This is from She Reads Truth. I've liked it. It's nice that it's just two pages. I've said this before. I wish that there was a little more text or verbiage in addition to scripture. It's mostly just scripture based, but that's also great, obviously. So I usually try to read at least one page of that every night before I go to bed. And a couple last minute skincare things before I do actually fall asleep is I have to use my Glossier Balm.com on my lips every single night. Sometimes I'll actually even put it on the tip of my nose because my nose chaps all the time, which I know is so weird, but I have to sleep with that. It's like almost an overnight lip mask for me. And then I have loved this face spray from Aesop. It's the Immediate Moisture Facial Hydrosol which is kind of hard to say, but it just feels very 
refreshing. Like normally by this point, it's been about an hour since I've done my skincare routine. It's just kind of like the last minute little refreshingness that makes me feel like, ah, so peaceful, so ready for bed. So I keep those things in my bedside table. And that is my nighttime routine. Obviously, I don't do every single one of these things every single night. I try to be intentional about picking at least half of these things and cycling through them every night. Like some nights I'll make like a happy little beverage and some nights I stretch. I try to stretch every night, but it's not every night that I'll make my to-do list before I go to bed. These are the things that I try to be intentional about doing. On nights that I have extra time, I will do them all, but some nights I just don't have time to do them all and I'll do two or three and that's okay. I just want to be transparent about expectations because oftentimes online and on YouTube, people's lives can seem way too perfect when in fact they're not. <laughs> that is what I try to do and it has been helping me fall asleep and reduce my stress, which has been huge for my help. And I have loved my Vitruvi so much and all of their blends, all of their pure essential oils, they're the best. So thank you Vitruvi for sponsoring this video. I love you so much. I'll link everything down below for you so you can find it. And with that being said, I love you so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.